Hello and welcome to the introduction video for Business 101 Introduction to Business. My goal for this video, which will be fairly short, is to give you a little bit of information about my background, uh, to talk a little bit about my strategy for teaching this course, why I think the course is important. I'll go over the syllabus in effect, kind of what we're going to do during the next eight weeks, and what my goals for the class are. So my contact information, first of all, is T. Madeley. There's two E's in that. Make sure sometimes people drop an E. So T. Madeley at spscc.edu. I check my email all the time. So that's the best way to reach me if you have a question or a concern or need to chat with me about something. Uh, in terms of student hours, I'm happy to meet with you. I'm pretty flexible this summer. So uh, if you'd like to meet, I can do that on Zoom. Uh, so just send me an email and let me know the times that you're available and I can send you a Zoom link and meet with you that way. And then lastly, my cell phone number is 360-556-3621. And you can text me there. Uh, I would appreciate it because obviously all of you aren't in my phone if you identify who you are in the class you're taking just so I know uh, what it is that you're, that you're talking about. But you can reach me that way as well. So a little bit about my background, uh, kind of a strange story. I got a job uh, for this company called Big Toys that made commercial playgrounds uh, the summer after ninth grade, a long time ago. Uh, and I was an installer and I drove a forklift and did all kinds of different work in the factory there. Uh, I worked there all through high school, worked there through uh, college, went to the University of Washington and got a business degree. Uh, with a concentration in accounting. Uh, I became the company's controller. And then after about, uh, let me think about uh, 13 years after I had started working there, I helped the owners sell the business to a much larger company, uh, a Danish company called Compan. And here's a picture of one of their playgrounds up by uh, the Seattle Center. Uh, it was a, a really good opportunity for me in the sense that I was able, I had worked in a fairly small business. Big Toys at that time was uh, about uh, just under $10 million in sales and we had about 50 employees. And, and Compan was a publicly traded company, so their stock was traded on the stock exchange. And they um, had about $200 million in sales and about 800 employees. So it gave me an opportunity to see how bigger companies worked, how international companies worked. The Compan is a, based in, outside of Copenhagen um, in Denmark. And it gave me uh, a lot of experience in, uh, like I said, international trade and that sort of thing. Uh, my responsibilities for the company at that time was managing all of the operations in North America. So they owned five different companies. So managing factories, supply chain, uh, and doing accounting and finance work as well. They approached me in 2003. Uh, the management of Compan did and said that they wanted to sell the Big Toys product line that they had uh, acquired in the early 90s and they wanted to know if I wanted to buy it. And so I uh, had always wanted to own my own company and, uh, you know, be the, the president of a company. And so I took that opportunity, uh, borrowed a lot of money uh, and started Big Toys as a, a newly independent company in the beginning of 2004. Started with 15 employees and uh, Big Toys had always been a wooden playground company. Uh, all of our structural components were made from uh, from lodgepole pine. We had a sawmill and, and uh, made, made all those components ourselves. And I uh, understood that the market was shifting towards non-wood choices, primarily for anti-vandalism reasons. And so I, uh, together with the people that work with me, uh, my team, we developed a non-wood version of Big Toys in the first year of my ownership. So the structure that you see on the right, these are identical structures, mirror images of each other. And the one on the left, of course, is, is wood. Uh, the one on the right is recycled scrap metal for all of the uprights uh, and recycled milk jugs for all of the lumber that you see there. Uh, and that was a good decision. Uh, it ended up being the uh, non-wood version ended up being 80% of our sales uh, and our sales doubled in four years, which was uh, a significant uh, thing to achieve. 
We also invented a new type of seesaw. So I have some experience in uh, new product development, uh, getting patent protection in the US and in other countries for that product, and then how to launch a new product and market it and that sort of thing. Uh, we sold uh, in the first two years of having this uh, patented product, uh, we sold over $2 million of just that, that one single product. Uh, so you can see the way this works. There are springs inside that green housing there. So when the kid on the left, you see he's down now, when he pushes off with his legs, compressed springs will give him an assist. And of course the other kid goes down and then he has springs to assist him in pushing back up. So it works like a seesaw, but it eliminates all of the safety concerns of seesaws and then kids can swing from the middle as you're seesawing. So this was a uh, place where we uh, installed our first prototype at Roosevelt Elementary here in Olympia. So uh, some of you may have gone to that school. So uh, near the end of the 2000s, 2009, 2010, um, I made the difficult decision to sell the company. The economy was very bad at that time and it had negatively impacted our sales. Our sales fell in one year by 25% because of the market for playground equipment contracted. Uh, and it was a, a pretty scary time and I didn't want the company to go under on my watch. So I sold it reluctantly to a large competitor and the company continues today. After that time, I went back to school to get my MBA. My goal was to begin teaching full time and kind of share my experiences with students. Uh, while I was getting my MBA and doing some part time teaching, I helped a friend launch a uh, outdoor fitness company. Uh, the picture in the upper left there, uh, that was product that was designed in Denmark and manufactured in China. So I have some experience with um, supply chain management in China, getting that product made and imported. Did that for three years. Uh, and during that time as well, I also, uh, and I continue uh, to serve on the board of directors at the Hands-On Children's Museum. I knew that many of the students that I would be teaching uh, would have an interest in working in the nonprofit sector. I didn't have any experience in that area. Uh, and so I wanted to kind of throw myself into that. And, um, and it's been a great experience. You might notice in the picture in the lower right there that uh, this farmer's market exhibit was built with materials that Big Toys had donated to them. So, so that was coming, kind of my introduction to the Children's Museum was working with them on that exhibit. So my teaching strategy uh, for certainly for online classes is to record very short videos, uh, 15 to 20 minutes at the very most, um, to discuss a concept and explain why it's relevant and, and why things work the way they do and why it should be important to you, something to keep in mind. I try as much as I can to relate things that you read about in the textbook to real world situations, things that you might face when you're a manager in a couple of years at a business or uh, that sort of thing. Uh, I have found a free textbook. I think the cost of textbooks is a crime. Uh, and uh, I've used a number of textbooks for this course. I've taught it many times. And a couple of years ago, I found a textbook uh, published by Rice University uh, that I've included as a PDF. So it's about a 700 page textbook. It's very up to date. I think it's written well and it reads fairly easily. Um, I wouldn't recommend printing the whole thing. That would take an awful lot of paper, um, but you can certainly print sections if you need to, uh, if you want. You can download the book to your computer and have it have it for yours. So it is free. I'll also use a couple of videos, primarily TED Talk type videos that I'll want, that'll kind of explore a particular topic in greater detail. And, and you'll see those come up in the course calendar and on, on Canvas. So the assignments and assessments for this eight week course, there will be uh, something each week uh, that you'll do that'll earn you points. So there, four of the weeks, there will be a short video that I'll ask you to watch and post a reflection about that video. I'll, I'll give a question that I'll want you to address uh, from your perspective. And it's not a right or wrong kind of a thing. It's just, you know, what do you feel about it? Uh, and then th within the following week, you'll need to comment on one other person's post for those. 
There are two five paragraph papers, uh, and I'll include a rubric for that and some verbiage about how a five paragraph paper is constructed. There should be no more than two pages at the most. Um, and again, they'll address a specific subject that we're talking about that particular week. There'll be a midterm exam in the fourth week, and that will be a multiple choice exam that you will print out. Uh, take the exam and then upload a scan, a PDF of that, uh, and I will grade it. And then there'll be a final exam that'll be the same kind of format that'll be comprehensive, multiple choice. And those exams uh, are, you know, they'll be due by Sunday night of that particular week. You'll have all week to work on them. There's no time limit on it. And of course it's open book because you're not in a classroom. So here's the course calendar. I'd recommend that you print this. You'll find this in the course materials section on Canvas. And this basically gives you a calendar of what we're doing for the next eight weeks. So, and I don't anticipate uh, making any changes to that. You can see that everything you need to do is in bold. Uh, and in terms of Wednesday, Thursday, those are just my suggestions. You know, I'll have those things. The book, of course, is already there. I'll have the lectures uh, uploaded by the beginning of the week. It'll be a YouTube link that'll be on, on Canvas. And you can uh, read the text that I described, for example, open the PDF and you'll see Nature of Business is section 1.1 to 1.8. So read that and then watch the lecture that I that I've recorded about that material and it'll be a voiceover PowerPoint like this uh, and there may be a couple. I think there are two the first week you can see there are you know, two, two lectures most weeks um, and I do that just so that you're not having to listen to me for an hour or something. So I break it up into shorter chunks uh, and then the first week there'll be a video reflection post on Sunday. So you can again you can read and watch the lecture any time during the week. You don't have to do that on Wednesday and Thursday, uh, but then the video reflection post and all the assignments that you see on Sunday, the due date for those is 11.59 uh, p.m. on Sunday. So uh, make sure that you get those done. Um, in a short eight week course, it really is difficult to extend deadlines and that sort of thing. So unless you've made some arrangements with me in advance that you're gonna be away from your computer or something like that, uh, then I'll hold fast to those due dates and, and uh, uh, either I won't accept late work or there'll be a, a point penalty associated with things being late. So. So that's the end of this introduction video. If you have any questions, please do print out the syllabus and read through that to make sure um, I've gone into a bit more detail there. And again, like I mentioned, print out the one page course calendar and keep that, tack it up somewhere where you can see it easily. Um, and if you have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Uh, I'm happy to chat with you. Uh, the next uh, two months, this is the only class I'm teaching, so uh, you've got my full attention, and uh, I look forward to working with all of you. Thank you.